Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to install the Virtuoso SG800 as a sublimation printer using Condi's ICC profile on your Windows computer. All the files you'll need should be located on the flash drive that comes with your printer. Um, if you don't have these files or you're missing your flash drive, please give us a call at 1-800-826-6332, option 2 for technical support. First thing we're going to do is go into the SG800 folder. We're going to install the ICC profile first, so we'll go into here, right click on the file and select install profile. This will install it onto your computer. We're going to go back to the 800 folder and go to PC drivers. Now I'm going to run the 64-bit version of the driver because I have a 64-bit operating system. All right, the first thing we'll see is the license agreement. I'm going to tell it to accept the agreement and hit next. We're going to add a new printer, so I'm going to hit next here. It's going to connect with USB, so I'm going to hit next here. It's going to tell me to unplug the printer and turn it off. Since I have not connected it to the computer yet, I'm just going to hit next. Then it's going to start copying files. Now this file copy is prone to pause at any 20% mark, uh, 20, 40, 60, or 80%. If it does pause, let it sit. It eventually will continue on and move to the auto detect screen. Now when you see this auto detect screen, this is when it's time to connect the printer to the computer and turn it on. Once it's connected, it's going to continue the install. We're going to hit next on the status monitor and then I'm going to select do not sit now. If it asks you if you want to restart, select no restart later and then hit finish. All right, once we've done that, we're ready to configure our printer. We'll go to Devices and Printers. And we're going to right-click on the SG800 and go to Printer Properties. When this opens, I'll go to Advanced. We're going to tell it to start printing after last page is spooled. Then I'm going to move to Color Management. I'm going to click on Color Management. I'm going to set the pull down at the top to the SG800. Um, sometimes that errors pop up telling your hardware has changed. Just ignore that. I'm going to again select the 800, check the box that says use my settings for this device, and hit the add button. From here I'm going to look through this list for the profile that we've just installed. It's going to be called SG800 Ditrans High Quality. I'm going to select that and hit OK. Close and OK out of properties. Next, I'm going to right click on the printer again, and this time I'm going to Printing Preferences. I'm going to make sure I start on Basic Settings. I'm going to change the, the Select Print Quality, Quality Priority. The paper type I'm going to set to Inkjet Plain Paper. Then I'm going to go to the Detailed Settings tab, select Edit in the menu at the top, change the paper to size, the printable area, to maximum. And then back at the menu at the top, I'm going to select on Print Quality. I'm going to come down and change Gray Reproduction to CMY plus K. And scroll down a little bit and change Vector to Raster. Once I have this saved in, I'm going to register current settings and name this Condi ICC letter. Now I'm naming this letter, if we go back to one click presets and notice, we're naming it letter because it's using letter size paper. Um, I can save a preset for any size paper I'd like. Uh, we'll save another one here for legal size paper. I'll select legal, register current settings, and name this one Condi ICC legal. Now once I have all of my paper size presets in here, I can then just select between the ones I'd like. I'll pick the one I want to make my default and hit OK. Now you're ready to configure whichever graphics software you're going to be printing from. That video can also be found on ConditV.com. Um, if you have any questions about this or anything else we have at Condi, please give us a call at 1-800-826-6332, option 2 for technical support, or you can send us an email to support at Condi.com. Thank you.